Hola, it's Stephanie from Apex Languages. I know it's been a crazy week, but let's relax a little bit and learn a little bit of Spanish. It sure makes Spanish seem a lot nicer. All right. This week, we're actually wrapping up our unit on introductions on how to say hello to somebody. And how do you end a conversation? By saying goodbye. Despedidas. First, it's been a long time. So let's review our saludos, our greetings. How do you say hello? Of course, there's hola. And we've been practicing that plenty. But do you remember how to say these? How do you say good morning? Buenos dias. How about good afternoon? Buenas tardes. And good evening? Buenas noches. Don't forget, buenos dias, but the other two are feminine. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Now for despedidos. How do you say goodbye? Well, the classic, you've got hola, and then you've got adios. If you wanted to break this word down, dios means God. And so what you're literally saying is to God. As in, I trust you to God until we meet again. I trust that he will take care of you. Uh, now, nowadays, it does not have any religious implications at all. It's actually the most versatile way to uh, excuse yourself. Uh, it can be used in a business setting, in a more casual setting, no matter what kind of relationship you have with the person that you're speaking with. The other ones I'm going to show you are not, you know, best friend slang, but they are a little less formal um, and so more common among friends, or at least people that you know, maybe acquaintances around the office. Someone that you know, not someone you're meeting for the first time, basically. Okay, uh, a lot of these start with the word hasta. Remember that the H is silent in Spanish. Hasta means until. So hasta luego is until later or see you later. Hasta mañana, until tomorrow. Hasta la próxima, until next time. Hasta la vista. Uh, yes, they, they do say that in Spanish, though not as often as the Terminator. Uh, it means until the next time I see you, okay? Until I see you. So let's go back one more time and repeat all of these. I'll, I'll do I'll do them each twice. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Okay, I've got two more. Ciao, just like the Italians, just spelled a little differently. And nos vemos. Uh, we'll, we'll see each other. Okay, we'll see each other in the future. One more for you. Que tenga buen día. This one is useful. It's have a nice day. Okay, que tenga buen día. Que tenga buen día. And so you can say, you know, adios, que tenga buen día, right? Uh, buen día is, is a good day. So you could say, que tenga buen fin de semana. Have a good weekend. Que tenga buen fin de semana. You can also say, um, que tenga buena vacación. Okay, have a good vacation. So, um, tenga comes from tener, which is to have. Well, we'll see that later, okay? So now we're going to put everything that we've learned over the past couple of weeks together. I have with me Angelo, and he's gonna help me do a final run through of the conversation we've been working on. I'm gonna do it a couple of times. The first time there will be subtitles. The second time there will be no subtitles. You will be on your own. This is a good practice to make sure that you can uh, understand in real life. 
This is all vocabulary that I've introduced before. So nothing new, nothing to be afraid of. Let's go through the first time. Hola. Buenos dias. Como esta? Estoy bien, gracias. Y usted? Estoy bien también, gracias. Me llamo Stephanie. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Angelo. ¿De dónde es? Soy de los Estados Unidos. Soy estadounidense. ¿Y de dónde es usted? Yo soy de Ecuador. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Adiós. Hasta luego. Que tenga buen día. You can go back and watch that as many times as you need to with the subtitles. But if you're ready, it's time for a challenge. This time, no subtitles. All right? You can do it. Hola. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Estoy bien también. Gracias. Me llamo Stephanie. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Angelo. ¿De dónde es? Soy de los Estados Unidos. Soy estadounidense. ¿Y de dónde es usted? Yo soy de Ecuador. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Adiós. Hasta luego. Que tenga buen día. All right. You've listened to the conversation with subtitles. You've seen the translation. You've listened to it without subtitles. And hopefully you understood, you know, 75% of what's going on. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the big idea. And now it's time for the final challenge. You're going to hold the conversation with me. So I'll say something, I'll pause, and you can pause the video if you need more time, but try to respond, you know, accurately for yourself. Afterwards, Angela will give you his answer, and maybe yours isn't a perfect match. That's all right. There's more than one answer for these, uh, you know, but try to, you know, try to match what the conversation said, okay? And then replay it if you need to. Let's see how you do that. Hola. Buenos dias. Como esta? Estoy bien, gracias. Y usted? Estoy bien también. Gracias. Me llamo Stephanie. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Angelo. Now, your name's probably not Angelo, so hopefully you put the right name in. He's going to ask me a question now. ¿De dónde es? Soy de los Estados Unidos. Soy estadounidense. ¿Y de dónde es usted? Yo soy americano. Mucho gusto. Don't forget that part. That means nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Adiós. Hasta luego. Que tenga buen día. Hasta luego, amigos. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos. Hopefully you learned something. Check back next week. We'll start a new unit. Until then, we've got lots more videos at apexlanguages.com. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day.